Hey guys and gals, Gunshy Mori back here with another video where today we are going to be looking at this lovely creature here, and this creature here is known as the Dreadmare. Now, this is an official creature to Ark. It is the second creature in the Fantastic Tames. Now, compared to the previous one, which was the Pyromane, this one is definitely worth the price, I will say. Now, again, this is technically a premium creature, so you will have to pay more for it so it doesn't come free with the game just like the pyromane you will have to pay 4.99 for it and uh yeah that is the only downside to this creature that it is uh, a little pay to win for in my opinion especially with some of the abilities it has but anyways i'm gonna hop right into showing you guys this creature now to start we're gonna go over where the dreadmere spawn so you can relatively find them easily on scorched earth and the center those are the only maps that they are spawning on as of right now and you can only find them at night from the hours of 8 p.m to 6 a.m so do keep that in mind when you guys are out looking for one of these guys alrighty guys so now that you've located a dreadmare that you want to tame what you want to get is your favorite gun and actually kill it now I know that sounds a little confusing right now, but once you kill it, it drops an item called a Dark Altar. And this Dark Altar is what can be used to summon back the Stallion, or Mare, and begin the taming process. Also, one other thing I forgot to mention, males of the Dreadmare species are known as Dread Stallions. So if you're using a uh, Dino Finder like I am, like Dura Dino Finder, they'll break up into categories, so you'll have Dreadmares and Dread Stallions. But as I was saying earlier, if I quickly just access its inventory here, we'll have the Dark Altar and it will be, as I said, tagged with this specific Dread Stallion, so we got the level 25. Now guys, to actually start the second phase of the taming process, what you're gonna do is take the Dark Altar somewhere safe. I do not recommend taking it to your base because the Stallion will attack you and all your creatures and your structures. So do keep that in mind. That's why I'm out here in the middle of the nature on a flat platform. And so what you do is you place down your Dark Altar and it's going to ask you for apex drops. But first, you're gonna have to wait until it's nighttime. So as you can see, it says you can only summon at night. Now, just like I said, guys, as nighttime rolls around, the Dark Altar here is gonna actually start asking you for some apex drops. So to start out with here, I got Megalania Toxin. Now, this is pretty easy. So once you get your apex drop or whatever it asks for, all you gotta do here now is give it to the altar but I would recommend that you definitely bring along like a Rhino Nanthia or a really good flying creature because this stallion is a little tough so make sure you have some pretty good armor with you as well so we'll give this the toxin and it's going to summon the stallion right above the altar now you can just start shooting it right off the bat like so and what bam the altar is now going to move on to the next requirement and now it's asking for Titanoboa Venom. So now this is just quite literally a rinse and repeat process. I'm going to give it the Titanoboa Venom now. We back up again, we get the gun aimed right where we know it's gonna spawn, and then we blast it. Now we can go back up to the altar, and as you guys can see here, it's asking for one last thing, and now this time it wants an Alpha Tyrannosaurus Tooth. And if you guys are wondering what my taming speed is, it is four times, and I will have that up in the top left if I remember to do that in editing. But yeah, let me get that Tyrannosaurus Tooth now. Alrighty guys, here we go. This should be the last Apex drop I need, and it appears I am having Saber Tooths roll up on me now. So boom, that is the Dreadmare. Now, as you can see at the top of my screen, it says Ritual Complete. Now, all you have to do once it says that is approach the altar and hit E, and it will tame the wild male Dread Stallion. And now, you'll have your own personal Dread Stallion. And these do get taming effectiveness there. Now, as you saw, I got 100%, so we did get the bonus. I think it's uh, 12 levels on a level 25. That's what I'm counting there correctly. But I am pretty sure we had 100%. I'll have a yes up on the screen if so. But now for the abilities that the Dread Stallion offers. So they do have just a standard, you know, left click melee like all creatures. But as you may notice, they have several special abilities that you can use. Besides the fact them being a flying horse. So first up on their special abilities we have, we have Wind Blades. Now these can be used easily by holding right click 
and then just clicking left to fire them off. As you can see there, that is, again, really easy. Now, if I hold it though, we will launch out a more powerful dark wind attack and it will consume that one on the left. So if you click, so if you hold right and then click, it will just shoot out the small ones here. But if you hold right and then hold left, it will shoot out that big powerful one. Now, next up here for abilities, we have the terror shield. All you have to do is here is hit left control and left click and boom. Now you are shielded and immune for, I think attacks for a good, uh, I think it was that what, two seconds there. And then next up for abilities, we have aura of hatred. Now this is a bit of a, a stack attack. The more kills you get with this, the more damage it will do once it's over. It's kind of like an explosive attack. And now once this is over, well, bam, it releases and it affects all the creatures around dealing damage. But at the same time, it does siphon off health for us. Now, next up for abilities that the Dread Mare has, we have the Black Hole ability. Now, this is a pretty easy one to use. All you got to do is go up to a creature with low enough drag weight and hit C. Now, the way you can tell the drag weight it is that number there on the little blue box where it says black hole above your hotbar. That one there says 309. That is the max drag weight for the dread mirror I am on right now. So if I hit C, well boom, it will suck up the dread stallion I have over there to the left. And now this does somewhat work like cryopods. I shouldn't say somewhat. This works 100% like a cryopod except there is a, you know, drag weight limitation. But once you are ready to release the creature that you have stored up in your black hole, all you have to do is land and hit C again and it will release them. Do keep in mind though, you will get uh, the cryo, cryo cooldown on your Dreadmir. So don't go, you know, completely spamming it, picking them up, dropping them back. Um, I'm also pretty sure that this should be affected by mods such as a, uh, Oh no, it does not. Never mind. This is not affected by mods, so don't listen to me on that. But yeah, that is what I have for their abilities. Now, for those of you guys that were running, the Dreadmeres are actually breedable, which actually caught me by surprise. At first, I didn't think these creatures would be breedable, but they are. So, if you guys do get a bunch of them with decent stats on them, you can start breeding them together to combine the stats and make the perfect Dreadmere, which is something I love doing with creatures, if you guys don't know, or if you haven't seen any of my other videos. But yeah, that's really all I have here for the Dreadmere. It is the new Fantastic Tames. I keep on getting that wrong, and I might have called these Dark Mirrors at some point in the video, and if I did, I am sorry. But if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this video, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, this has been Gunshy Mori signing out, guys. Peace.